Well, the U.S. Capitol Police officer who died after Wednesday's siege was from New Jersey. Officer Brian Sicknick was injured while he was engaging with protesters. News Force Brian Thompson's in South River, where that officer's parents live. Brian, good morning. Yeah, and Pat, we know this, that he enlisted in the New Jersey Air Guard back in 1997, according to the statement from the Guard, and served at McGuire Air Force Base as a fire team member and then fire team leader. Eventually, he was uh, sent overseas twice, once to Iraq and uh, once to Kyrgyzstan. And in 2003, he was honorably discharged from the Air National Guard here in this state. Now, this tragedy that it is playing out in D.C. has now come, of course, to the quiet streets here of South River. Brian Sicknick's Facebook page filled with condolences after word of his death, death was announced last night by Capitol Police. Reports that he may have been hit in the head with a fire extinguisher while trying to deal with the surging mob. That same Facebook page showing that Sicknick believed in President Trump, as did the rioters he faced. It has been nearly two dozen years since Brian Sicknick left this neighborhood. Neighborhood after graduating from a local Votex school. His parents, though, never leaving and well liked here. Great people. Just, you know, they've been here forever. They were you know, born and raised here in South River. Charlie was a, was a plumber by train. Gladys is always walking, you know, so just, you know, just good neighbors. Now, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi this morning did order the flags at the Capitol to fly at half st uh, staff in honor of the sacrifice Officer Sicknick made. The White House this morning putting out its own statement noting that the death of any law enforcement officer is a solemn reminder that they run toward danger to maintain the peace, adding that Trump and his entire administration extend their prayers to Sicknick as, quote, we grieve the loss of this American hero. Now, police did come by here to tell us that the family does want their privacy, so we will not knock on their door. But we also heard from the Justice Department this morning, NBC News reporting that uh, the Justice Department is looking at this as a death investigation right now, not necessarily a murder investigation until more evidence comes in. Live in South River, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. All right, Brian, another tragedy out of that. Thank you so much. Well, hundreds of New Jersey National Guard members will head to D.C. today and over the coming days to help with security in the nation's capital, and they'll stay there at least until President-elect Biden's inauguration on the 20th of January. Dozens of New Jersey state troopers have already arrived in Washington, and they remain there as we speak. And News Force Checky Beckford is in D.C. as well. We will have continuing coverage beginning this afternoon with her reports. Until then, please get the latest information at any time by going to NBCNewYork.com or by downloading the NBC4 New York app.